what? Think back. You've seen the distance formula before. Kaysen said, subtract the y's over subtract the x's. Does that give me distance? That gives me the slope of the line segment, but does that give me distance? That does not give me distance. So it's not that one. It's, it's an offshoot of the Pythagorean theorem, yes. Because I could make this into a right triangle, right? And then I could square this. And I could square that, and that would give me the distance squared, right? Okay. So how am I going to find that x and that y? It's the square root of something. Bingo. Okay. It's the square root of the difference of the x's squared plus the difference of the y's squared. Okay? That's always going to be the distance formula. No matter where your points are, that works. Sorry, dear. Is that better? All you got to do is ask. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Picking up right where we left off. Synapses and neurons and whatever's going on up in the in the old wet noodle. What? Into math terms? Do you remember it? All right. So find the distance between those two points. Well, my distance is equal to. I first have to subtract the x's. Does it matter which order I go in? What does it matter? Do I, can I, do I start with this one and then go to negative 3, 2? Or could I start with negative 3, 2 and then go to the other one? Doesn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one I start with. What matters? The order. The order of them matters. So if I'm starting here with negative 5 minus negative 3, then I had better, on this next one, start with positive 1. Negative 5 minus negative 3. Oh, should be outside. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Good eye. So you're saying I should have wrote it like that? Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Good eyes. What do we got? Negative 5 minus negative 3? Negative 2. That's still squared. 1 minus 2. Negative 1. That's still squared. Negative 2 squared. 4. Negative 1 squared. 1. So that gives me a distance here of square root of 5. Now, I will tell you this, that it is nice to leave it in reduced radical form. Why? It's an E word. It's exact. It's exact. Okay? Alright? 
So the distance between those two points is the square root of five units long. Okay? Questions on that? We'll get into that more in a minute. Let's hit up midpoint. Okay? Midpoint, also you have seen. Okay? Now, it looks kind of funky. Okay? But what the midpoint is, it is the point that is in the middle of two other points. It bisects the segment. Okay? It cuts the segment into two. And what you do is you take the x values, add them together, divide by two. Take the y values, add them together, divide by two. Okay? Distance is a number. Okay? The distance is a number. The midpoint is a point. So we need to write it as a point. Okay? So we average the x's, we average the y's, and we write it as an ordered pair. Okay? Find the midpoint of the segment joining negative 2 comma 3 and 4 comma negative 2. Well, I take the x values, negative 2 and 4, I add them, and I divide by 2. I take the y values, 3 and negative 2, I add them, and divide by 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 plus negative 2 is 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. So the midpoint of those two points is 1 comma 1 half. Distances, I want it in reduced radical form. Midpoints, I want...